in, in the Bible just now. Uh, and so I did bring my friend Catherine. Uh, she's been gone for a little bit. Can you say hi, Catherine? Hi. Hi, Catherine. Good to, good to have you here. I noticed you've been gone for, uh, yeah, two, three weeks. Uh, where you been? Oh, I was back home in Costa Rica. Oh, really? How, how was it down there? Beautiful. I'm sure it was. That's really great. Well, we're glad to have you back. Uh, so, Catherine, we're going to talk about the Bible today, okay? Oh, I love the Bible. Good. I'm glad you do. Uh, and in fact, actually, uh, boys and girls, and really ev- boys and girls at heart as well, uh, if you want to share near you and those of you at home, share with your family right now, what's your favorite Bible story? All right, Catherine, you think of yours too, uh, but what's your favorite Bible story? All right, so we'll give you 10 seconds to, to talk about that with folks near you. All right, I think that should be enough time. All right, so uh, hopefully you're able to share your favorite Bible stories. Let's see, Catherine, what's, uh, what's your favorite Bible story? Uh, okay, well, uh, wh- what is it? Oh, you actually talk. Okay, great. So, uh, Catherine, your, your favorite Bible stories, uh, let's hear it. So, uh, Noah and the Ark. Oh, that's a good one. Moses and the burning bush. Good one. David and Goliath. Wow, you've got a lot. Esther and the king. Wow, you have so many favorite Bible stories, and there's so many more. I'm sure there are, Catherine. Now, uh, let me ask you a question. What is the point of Bible stories? Like, why, why do we have the, all these Bible stories? Uh, uh, to teach us to be good and to have faith. Well, you know, they certainly do teach us to be good oftentimes, uh, and they, they do teach us to have faith, but is that, is that really the full point of Bible stories? Uh, yes, final answer. Uh, well, I, I'm sorry, Catherine, you're, you're, you're actually wrong. Uh, the, the full point of the Bible stories is always to point us to Jesus. So just how you talked about your favorite Bible stories, uh, you said, what did you say, Noah and the ark? So just as Noah and his family are rescued by the ark, Jesus rescues us. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, it's great. Uh, just how Moses in the Exodus, he delivers the people from slavery. Jesus sets us th- free through his death and resurrection. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, David and Goliath, how David takes down Goliath. Jesus fights for us, and he lays down his life for us to protect us from anything that would harm us. Oh, wow, that's so cool. It sure is. And Esther and the king, how, how she delivered her people by, by speaking what she needed to speak. Jesus are the words that set us free. Jesus' words protect us and, and, and deliver us from what would harm us. Wow, that's so cool how everything in the Bible points to Jesus. That's right. And so that's our Bible passage today is all about Jesus, how he came for us, how he lived for us, how he died for us, how he rose again for us, all because he loves us and because he loves you and he loves you and even loves you, Catherine. Wow. Pretty cool. So let's pray about that. Dear Jesus, thank you that you love us so much. Thank you for giving us your word in which everything in it points to you and what you've done to save us, to rescue us, to show us your love. May we look to you always. In your name we pray. Amen.